Did you know that breathing with your mouth is associated with a number of issues like snoring, allergic reactions, and poor oral health? But there's a possible solution. It's called, listen to this, mouth taping. <laughs> Here to tell us a little bit more about that and how it all works is dentist Dr. Mandy Johal. Good morning. And her son, Jade. And hi, guys. Good morning, Ed. Thank okay, you. Okay, we're laughing because it's just, <laughs> we, what is mouth taping? I know, I know. Well, okay, so mouth taping has gained a lot of popularity, believe it or not, in the recent years because it, it's been shown that, you know, it improves your quality of sleep and also your overall health, right? Because there's so many negative detrimental effects with mouth breathing. Um, so my family and I, we've been taping for the last like six years yeah. and we can attest to that as well. Right. Okay. So this is something you do for when you're sleeping. For your sleeping. So when I was here last time, we talked about the importance of nasal breathing. Yes. So when I bring it into my clinic, I want to make sure my patients are nasal breathing at all times. But most importantly, if I'm helping them with like jaw pain, headaches, migraines, or even like when you do orthodontic treatment, I want to make sure at nighttime, they're definitely breathing through the nose. And the way to ensure that is mouth tape. <laughs> so we're not taping so your I, mouth closed. No, though. no. So we're going to show you like how, um, how to do it, how to do it safely for adults and children um, and what you can use for that. Uh, what does it treat? You mentioned a few things. I would, right. I would wonder if snoring is the biggest one for perhaps adults, but why would you tape the mouth of a child? And I mean, a lot of parents are like, do right. you really even need to ask that in it? We all know. Joking aside, why would you tape a child's mouth? Do they have those issues as well? Well, so snoring and sleep apnea and sleep disorder breathing actually starts from birth. Oh. Right? So I, in my clinic, I see everybody from zero to 100 because if you, you don't just wake up with sleep apnea and start snoring. Snoring. It actually starts from day one. We see early signs of that. So I'm not saying tape your baby. I'm saying that absolutely not. I'm just saying we need to assess those things. Okay. So for a child, why am I taping? Because that's what you asked me. I'm taping them because if I, they're breathing through their nose all night long, we're decreasing. Um, we're well. Let me start again. Bre breathing through the nose at night time for a child helps with brain cognitive um, cognitive function, uh, right? Like yeah. think about an adult. When we have bad sleep, we wake up feeling foggy. Yeah. We we have memory problems, right? Like a lot of people would have that, but as a child, they might not display those symptoms, right. but they show up in symptoms like ADHD, right? Okay. Yeah, so we want to make sure um, it helps with fighting off viruses, it actually boosts your immune system as well. Breathing through the nose, the most important thing I didn't talk about last time, is it releases something called nitric oxide. And nitric oxide has so many beneficial effects for the whole body. For adults, it actually decreases blood pressure, hmm. right? And it actually helps um, boost your immunity, decrease inflammation from head all the way down into your body. Okay, I, I'm really curious. I have nasal <laughs> issues. I've got sinuses like crazy today. So I'm curious yes. if that would help. Can, can we put the tape on, on Jaden and, and see how this works? Yes, but I, brave can, soul. I, can I just tell everybody too, I think this is really important, that we don't tape children under four, okay. for sure. And if you are taping, uh, you have some underlying health conditions, please do not attempt taping until you talk to a healthcare provider. Okay. Um, Would this be something you talk to your dentist about? Well, it has to be like an airway dentist because okay. not every dentist specializes this in, uh, well, not specialize or is trained in this, okay. but definitely at least talk to maybe your ear, nose, throat doctor or family doctor mm -hmm. or an airway dentist like myself. Okay. Um, so just make sure of that. And then if you can't breathe at nighttime and you're stuffy, we'll talk about that as well okay because um, if you are stuffy and you can't breathe you need to make sure that you use like a breathe right strip or you do your nasal rinses mm -hmm. or use something like a nasal dilator okay and make sure that you do like a simple test for three minutes during the day to make sure that you can at least comfortably breathe through the nose because mm -hmm. if you can't during during that do that during the day you're not gonna do that at nighttime okay right so I want to make sure that's imperative and one last thing sorry yep. is um, I want to make sure you don't have what's called nasal collapse that when you take a deep breath in and your nostril kind of goes in from the one side yep. that's called nasal collapse and we don't want that either mm -hmm. and that's where something like a nasal dilator and a breathe right syrup happen uh, helps right and then you can tape so show them Jaden how it's done Oh, it stretches. Yes. So this is kinesiology tape. I really like it for children. Okay. But you can see how I usually like it. I usually do help them as well too, right? You want to stretch it over the lip. Right. And under the lip. Because you're not the mouth closed. No. And look, and your child can still talk. Can you say good morning? Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> so they do, you, do you sleep with that on? Yes. And was it hard to get used to or? Um, I can't remember. A long time ago when I started. <laughs> And, and so it's made it easier. 
from yeah. breathing through the nose. Yes. Definitely. It forces you to breathe through Well, the nose. especially because you talk about allergies too, right? right? So when you have allergies, your nose is a filter. So now that it's been cleaned, because we talked about nasal rinses last time, now the nose is a nice filter, and now he can sleep better. You get deeper quality of sleep. So there isn't any really scientific research that's saying it stops, like it helps. But because we know the detrimental effects of mouth breathing, we know that if we were to stop the mouth breathing, that it's going to have a positive effect. Like my patients report back feeling more alert. They feel more well rested and decrease in snoring. Does it work in this way that you would tape for physio? Like you go to physio for a muscle issue and that you would tape? Definitely, it, because essentially what it's doing, it's not about the lips. I tell right. my patients, it's about the muscles on the outside. Okay. And the kinesiology tape, from what my PT friend, colleagues had told me, it has like, it, it's stretchy, right? Yep. So it's always sending signals to the brain to just kind of keep that closed. Okay. So it's not about keeping your mouth taped or taping your mouth, uh, mouth shut. Right. Um, like for an adult, you have so many different options as well. You have a little gel you can use you can just use regular 3m medical grade tape okay um there's fun colors for kids yep there's ones that come pre-cut um and then so there's some stuff that is specifically designed for this and then other issues other other tape you can use as well because well. it's just easy and more economical too like right. i just took this and i just cut a square out of it yeah and um cut a little circle out of it but like even for adults you don't keep your whole mouth shut you can just kind of do this yeah mm -hmm. does it and it will yeah it will stay okay and it'll stay. So you oh, can just good. do it at night time. It's yeah. pretty easy. Um, but yeah, and so I have had friends, like I had, I brought Darth Vader here to remind me to tell you guys a quick story about a patient. She goes, my husband no longer, oh, you can take it off, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she said, my husband no longer sounds like Darth Vader at nighttime because he's nasal, he has, he's mouth taping, and he's using a Breathe Right strip. So there you go. There you go. It's, it's like no longer that, <laughs> that sound. We all know that sound. Um, thank you so much to both of you. Pretty fascinating stuff and something certainly to think about for, you know, anyone in your life it, or perhaps yourself who has um, maybe some breathing at night issues. Um, Especially snoring or people don't feel well rested. Yeah. There's a great book by James Nestor called Breathe. Um, if people want to learn more about it, of why mouth breathing is not great for them and what they can do, he does a great job explaining it. And I just have other examples of books that go over breathing. Yep. Um, and his book is actually titled The, La the Lost Art of Breathing. Wow. Because we are all mostly breathing through our mouths and we shouldn't be, mm, right? Okay, it's all part of our health. <laughs> Dr. Joho and Jaden, thank you so much. Thanks for being Thank with you. us.